Hey everybody, welcome back to the Upside Down Show. Freaking Nick Jr. God, God damn, I hate them. I hate them with a passion. Damn them and their... They just poison Nickelodeon. I mean, as if Nickelodeon wasn't bad enough already. With all their iCarly and Victorious and all that other crap. And the only the only SpongeBob episodes that come out nowadays are the... They make them like world premieres in like 15 minute episodes. That pisses me off. And like, I don't know, I just liked Nickelodeon in the old days. When I, when I was a kid. I mean, I just don't like all these stupid reality teenage TV shows because it's just a bunch of melodramatic crap with stupid things happening the whole time. So, yeah. Nickelodeon needs to change. I mean, I like Nicktoons Network. Nicktoons Network is funny good. I mean, it's not fan-freaking-tastic. It's the best thing ever. But I'd rather watch Nicktoons Network than freaking Nickelodeon any day of the week. Nickelodeon, just... God, I, I don't ever watch that anymore. And I don't even find it. I, I used to like Nickelodeon, but, like, now it's just filled with a lot of weird crap. Crap I don't feel like watching. And there's Cartoon Network, but... Cartoon Network has its own issues when it comes to cartoons. I mean, every freaking cartoon is just people doing stupid stuff with no, no, nothing about it. I mean, I liked Toonami. Toonami was awesome. Toonami was my childhood thing. And I'll never forget you, Toonami. Although I, although I still need to go to Toonami Aftermath. And when I do go to Toonami Aftermath, I'm probably going to love it because I love Toonami. But yeah, um, Toonami needs to come back. But I, I, I can't say that Cartoon Network is terrible. I won't lie. There are some times where I can watch Adventure Time or, like, Chowder, if they even still freaking show Chowder, because I probably haven't seen... I haven't really watched Cartoon Network in a while. I watch it whenever my little brothers are doing it, and I'm bored as hell. But, yeah, I still have Adventure Time, and it's okay. But, like, game show <sighs> Games. Yeah, I'm too busy thinking about games. But, uh, shows like that, I can't watch too often. I mean, I just can't watch too many shows that have not that literally nothing to do. They're just there for kicks and laughs, and or that just they do nothing but stupid crap all day, and they don't accomplish anything. I mean, I'm okay with fillers. I mean, that's the point of some like Dragon Ball Z fillers were a lot like that, where they wouldn't accomplish anything. It was just for fun, craps and giggles, and I, I was cool with that. But do they have the, like I can't have every episode be like that. I just get uninterested. And I can't. I like it when there's something about it. And, yeah, so, Nickelodeon needs to stop focusing on reality TV and crap. In fact, I think, I think they already have a Teen Nick out there. And if, and if they don't, then I'll be damned, because Nickelodeon's thought of every single freaking thing available, really now. But, um, yeah, Nickelodeon needs to do something. I don't exactly know what, but they need to change. And then, ah, oh crap! I gotta kill these guys. Go die in a fire! Fire of doom! Oh crap! I gotta scan that first. Go, go, scan it, scan it, scan it. Okay, now I have to actually read something. Okay, Sanctuary Falls. Our battered forces gathered in the Sanctuary Fortress to prepare for the inevitable siege. There, they didn't wait long. Wave after wave, of Ing assaulted the greatest of our fortresses with one bullet. Uh, uh, I do not know where that came from. With one goal in mind, to seize the energy there. The Ing turned the machines of Sanctuary against our warriors, and soon all was lost. The energy of Sanctuary was taken by the Ing. Only one energy controller remained on Aether. Uh. And there goes the rest of that burp. Ow! Little dick. Where are you? Ah, oh, you didn't release the catapult thing. Okay. I accidentally hit you with a boost ball, so... Now, that's one less thing that's too annoying. And then we're gonna... Boom! Ah, oh, wow, I totally missed. Okay, so now we're just going to... This better not be a deja vu. It totally just happened again. Stupid little vector spin crap. Oh, and it, it's alive. Wow. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna ask how that works. Just die. Thank you. You didn't put up much of a fight, but you were annoying as crap. Okay. Yay! Okay, got the main body. Command module just takes destroying their shield and then, you know, just start attacking them. Okay. So, yeah. Cartoon Network needs to change because they just, 
they, they're too focused on showing stupid things. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it every once in a while, but I, it gets really... I just get sick of it. Okay, so, let's read of another thing. Caretaker class drone. Oh, a rogue maintenance drone. I, I would have never guessed that one. Drone designed to protect magnetic rail chambers. Chamber rails are a boost jump apart. Perhaps the Luminoth were experimenting with boost technology. The caretaker drone was designed to protect and maintain an experimental energy chamber. It used electrically charged limbs to perform its duties. The drone requires a sensor updates to fight. A vulnerable detection unit will extend periodically to search for targets. Destroying this unit would weaken its combat ability. I really don't care about that entire thing. And yeah, they might have been experimenting with boost ball technology, or they just wanted to create somewhat of a puzzle. Clearly, the clearly the boost ball technology makes much more sense. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying. And then, let's see, four kids is bankrupt, but I guess we'll talk about them, too, because I, I want to talk about why they went bankrupt, because there's, I mean, I guess there's plenty of reasons why they went bankrupt. Um, their dubbed actors were, you know, I really, I usually I can't tell when something is terrible, but I was able to tell that they weren't the best, to say the least, because I know people get really, really pissed about the dubbed voice acting. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about it. I mean, they didn't show bad shows. They really, honest to God, didn't sh show bad shows. I mean, I guess some of their shows were pretty stupid, but I mean, they did show Pokemon. They showed shows I was willing to watch. I was willing to watch that. But I was not happy about watching some of them. Oh, speaking of shows, that one of the four kids' shows got transferred to Nickelodeon. It's called Winx Club. I just wanted to shoot myself. The one card, the one show that Nickelodeon gets is a freaking is a show like that. I've never watched it, and I don't plan on giving it a chance. It just, the, the show, the show just doesn't sound like it'll appeal to me at all, at all. Oh crap! I thought th I thought that was gonna hit me for some reason. Anyways, let's get this missile expansion. So yeah. Uh, let's see, what else happened to four kids? Oh, I think while they were still around, they were showing Dragon Ball Z Kai. I know Nickelodeon shows it too. I don't like Dragon Ball Z Kai. I have nothing against the show. Um, it doesn't seem like a terrible show. But, for some reason, I just like the original. I have the first six seasons, I have the first six remastered seasons. And you know what? I like the original. I like the voices. Um, Gohan's new voice pisses me the hell off. I don't know why, but I swear to God, I just want to shoot Gohan's new voice. I like the Funimation dub voice actors. They were awesome. They 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 got the they got the voices pretty spot on. I, I like Funimation. They're cool. Okay, hold on. We have to scan this guy. Because this is a dark ink smasher. Ironically, I doubt the dark ink smasher hardly ink smashes anymore. Um yes, yes, uh, okay. So once the Ink discovered that they could possess intelligent beings, the mighty Ink Smashers were a top priority. Hell yeah, I, I, if, I can, if I can take over a giant freaking awesome monster, I'd do it too. Um, targets for the Horde. The drones retain all of their attacks. Shockwave fists, yeah. It uses energy shield and battle. Okay, are you gonna just, uh, yeah, okay, it's just the rest of the same thing. It just said how that was top priority. Which is a cool thing. It deserves to be top priority. This thing is freaking awesome. Okay, okay, yes. Die! Die! Die, Milkshake! Die! Um, but, yeah. Um, I like Funimation. Dragon Ball Z Kai, maybe I didn't give it a fair chance. Because I do watch it whenever I can. I do like how they did skip some of the fillers, so... Up to some point, I, anytime I want to see something plot-fulfilling, I will gladly watch Dragon Ball Z Kai. But you know what? I, I really do enjoy the original series back. That's just my opinion. Although I know some people actually absolutely hate the Majin Buu saga and the tournament saga and the Kid Buu saga and crap like that. Um, what can I say about the Majin Buu saga and the, the, the whole pink bubblegum crap? Um, I can't say I hate that saga. I do enjoy it. I enjoy, uh, Vegito and... I enjoy Gohan. Up to a point, I gotta admit, in the beginning, I absolutely hated Gohan. I thought that, uh, freaking they, Dragon Ball Z was turning into some sort of Degrassi or some other melodramatic show. 
But, you know, oh god damn it, freaking computer screen decides to turn off again. Okay, but I I liked, I liked, I liked the Boo Saga. It was okay, it wasn't as good. The Cell Saga will always be my favorite. Cell Saga was awesome, Team Gohan was awesome, and I just think that it was awesome. Enough said. That's all I need to say about it. It was awesome. Fuck. Freaking hell, man. Okay. So, that, I just, I just ranted on for like 10 minutes about different companies that I used to enjoy but now hate. Um, is, is there any other show I really want to talk about? Um, yeah, Sonic X. What the hell, man? Why? Why couldn't we just have the Sonic characters? Why did I have to see some whiny little kid who's really, really rich being in the series? I don't like him. I don't like Chris. I don't like anything about him. Although I do like the, uh, the freaking ninja servant they have. He is awesome. He is just, he's awesome. I mean, like, well, I, I don't know. I just like him. He's cool. He's a cool dude. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to keep saying, oh, he's awesome because he's awesome because that's just how terrible game reviews are made. Like, oh, you should buy this game because it's awesome and I think it's awesome. I mean, that's like, that'd be terrible. They're, they'd be terrible game reviewers. I, I would hate them. I would never watch them. Huh. Uh. Burps. Okay. So. Game been saved. Game been saved. Energy replenished. We had to do this. We had to do this poem project where we couldn't use words like the and they had to all be nouns. And I don't know. The poems just sounded goofy looking. I'm not good at poems, but I know when they sound stupid. Okay. So. This is the end of this part. This is actually as far as I've ever gone. So I have to start practicing again. So clearly, you know, some practicing is needed. But yeah. So for now, I'm ending this recording session. I'm ending this recording. You don't even need to know that I'm ending this recording session. But I just need to tell you because I'm ending this recording session. I have the terrible logical reasons ever. So yeah. I hope you guys appreciated my rant and my slight item getting. And next time we'll actually be doing stuff in Sanctuary Fortress. Hopefully. I haven't gotten that far yet. So, this has been Koopa Troop 895, and I will see you guys later, and hopefully, next time I start recording, I'm not going to be as hyper, and I will be on a full stomach. Goodbye, guys. Gonna miss you. <laughs> yeah, see you guys later.